Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We, we did daily vlog. vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow! Girl wants french fries, so I'm going to get her french fries. Oh my god. It is 11 o'clock our time. Uh, I got up this morning, ran my work stuff, hung out with Eve. She's so sweet. Made coffee, did the dishes, feeling good, just shaved. Um, in 28 minutes, I'm going to hop on a Zoom call with the Chicago team for or the ACS team for Chicago Marathon this fall that we were they were supposed to have like a like a, a long run like a long run meetup today in Chicago but because of covid they're doing a virtual so I get to actually be involved because everyone's going to zoom call in um, with Jessica our coordinator from ACS for this run and so that's going to be exciting because I know none of those runners Trying to convince Grant to call in because he's one of them too, so he can. Um, but he's being Grant, you know. Funny how some some things just end up serendipitously happening. But today I've got the Zoom call with the Chicago Runners um, for ACS, and we actually got a package in the mail from a new friend from ACS. So I've made a new friend. He's from the corporate office of American Cancer Society um, because he's more about like developing new business part partners and, and strategies for um, team determination for the endurance series. So he is, I got involved, I met him virtually and I've been communicating with him because he's more involved with the World Marathon Challenge with Kyra and Chris. I know Kyra and Chris from the Run Disney events, but they are working together with uh, this gentleman, Paul, who is out of the ACS corporate office, but he sent me and Sarah a package and it's super awesome and super nice. I want to show you. So it's kind of strange, or serendipitous I say that, oh, Eve's mad at Sarah's french fries because I went and grabbed Sarah french fries because she was wanting some. Um, but this is the new Determination logo. So they got rid of the slant and they added these like red dots. I like it a lot, but what I like even more, see like it looks cool is, so they, and Paul, it was super nice. like. Even though I'm the athlete and I'm the runner, I talked in, in our meet and greet call that how much it's a team effort between Sarah and myself. So he sent me a t-shirt in singlet, but he also sent Sarah a t-shirt in singlet. So thank you so much, Paul, if you're watching. That means so much. It just shows that goes to show like the level of care that ACS is for Sarah and myself and not just about the money that we're fundraising because like Sarah's not part of She's not the athlete. She's not the one who signed the paperwork to get to fundraise this large sum for world marathon but i expressed to to paul in the call that it's a team effort but look at this singlet oh man look at that in the back and the material is just wonderful but look at that design here i'll get the other singlet and we'll do a side by side with the old and the new so here's the front perspective of the old singlet and new singlet. You, I, I ironed on those reflective patches. Those weren't on it. Those were, I, I had to iron those on for the 50K. And then here are the backs of them. Gosh, I love that design. I'm wearing this today when I go on a run later. But thank you so much, Paul. Thank you so much, Team Determination. Thank you so much, ACS. Now it is time for Sarah's editing, but I have to hop on the computer and hop on a Zoom call to meet um, some of our fellow runners for ACS. So that was a fun little like meet and greet, hang out, just chit chatting. Um, I think about eight or nine people ended up showing up over the hour. Some familiar faces from ACS, and then met some of the runners that are that are running and heard their stories. And it's a super interesting group that we have going on that visit that came into the call. Um, but it's just interesting talking. So there was like me from Orlando. There was a woman who's in North Carolina, and then most of everybody else was in the Chicagoland area. So it was interesting for us, like, to talking talking about like our running habits because 
it's been raining in Chicago and cold and you still have to wear like face covers during certain days if it gets so cold compared to me who's dealing with humidity and running later to deal with the no sun, no humidity. Whereas like two o'clock is like a prime time on some of these days to run in Chicago because the sun, they need it for the warmth because it's still so cold at, at times this part of the year. Um, compared to me who's like trying to hide from it and hide not just from the heat but also from the humidity. Uh, but it was really fun to, to just like hear some of their stories, show some of their pets, talk about um, how many Chicago marathons they've run, how many ACS runs, new Chicago, new ACS, um, different training styles and just different walks of life and what they're doing for jobs and how they're being affected right now with the viruses and living. So it was just fun to have like a little bit of community aspect to the Chicago team um, for ACS. I can't even do one. We never did the push-up challenge. We, <laughs> yeah. we were tagged in. We never did we anything. We were just ignored we were tagged in. Um, so Sarah and I found a, um, what's it called? Not a bassinet. A, a crib. A crib. Yeah. We're going to order it once she gets her next invoice from her current project and then it's gonna go somewhere over here yeah, I think we're gonna day move bed the over here over that way. Yeah, the Chicago's gonna move over there we're gonna get a chair right there armoire right here that's not being used except for storage because this apartment doesn't have the best storage and it's okay if you refuse to listen to me I am after all just a 16 year old school girl from Sweden we're watching this documentary on Greta you cannot ignore the scientists she science. is something else. She is strong. She's speaking some good things. We should be doing more. We can be. I know. I know. Uh -huh. Oh gosh, it's six o'clock. We took an unplanned nap. I actually feel worse after it. I think she feels better and Sarah's still sleeping, so hopefully Sarah feels good afterwards, but this Saturday took a turn I did not expect. Not a stoop I can sit on. And Eve's chill, so we're just relaxing outside enjoying the uh the beautiful weather right now. Hear a few birds, chirping chirping, having a good time. So as long as Eve's chill, I think we're just gonna chill her for a little bit while. I hope Sarah feels good after she wakes up. It's because, like, you know, sometimes you wake up from a nap and it's like you feel worse than have been before. I hope Sarah feels really good. She loves taking advantage of weekend days like this in that manner where it's just like, just relaxing. And this is totally unplanned. Um, so fingers crossed she wakes up feeling great. Hitting up that little women OG circa 1990s. Guess what time it is. Oh, look who makes a reappearance in the vlog. I think I, I think I slept for like four hours. I think it might have been more. It is no, now. No, because when we got into our room and I was FaceTime, it was 4.30 and you fell asleep first. I didn't fall asleep till like five, so it was probably close to four. Probably slept. But it's nine o'clock now, right? And the last time I vlogged was six when me and Eve were outside. Oh, she's so angry. Um, I've been working actually because of this. I, I referenced, was it today's vlog or yesterday's vlog where I was like, I have to do this thing over the weekend. You said it in yesterday. I got most of it done in the last two and a half, three-ish hours. Did you see so. what I did? <laughs> no. I just went like this and she ran away. So, but unfortunately, even though Sarah just woke up and is welcoming herself to the weekend again, I have to get myself ready to go on run. But she's cooking herself up a quick, Lucky easy dinner. Burger. That dog is mad. Girl! It's hot in here. I'm gonna put ranch on my burger. I don't think we discussed it in yesterday's shopping spree, but we got a plethora. We did something we don't typically do. Sorry, I'm putting up the AC and turning the fan on. We got a plethora of vegan sauces, what we, or dippings. We got a vegan ranch, vegan Caesar salad, Caesar dressing. salad dressing. There's a third one, right? Barbecue sauce. Yes. Oh, I never picked up the lemon poppy seed. We decided not oh, to. Oh yeah, it. yeah. But we did get a Kansas City barbecue that is also vegan. But she's got goals on making some BBQ. Yeah, lentil, uh, like sloppy joes with coleslaw on them and buffalo cauliflower. Pumped. I was gonna make the buffalo cauliflower no matter what tonight, but 
<laughs> but then you slept for three and a half hours. It's all your fault. I was. I know, and I purposely didn't wake you up. I know. I actually did wake up when you closed the door, and I was like, "How is he?" Have we showed this? I showed it on display earlier, but not on me. Looks good. Did you see my scar? Um. Now you can. <laughs> this is even lighter. It's even a better material than the other singlets they sent before. Love it. Hope it doesn't bleed. Hope it doesn't chafe. Oh, I'll okay, be back. go run. And I'll see you. I promise I won't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> An hour from now with Sarah chilling on the couch. Ah! Hopefully without a yelling doggy. She's going to sleep. I have some laundry going, so I'm sorry if it's a little bit loud, but I'm going to prove Peter wrong and not sleep. I'm going to turn on Avengers, finish it. Well, I'll probably not finish it before he comes back, but by the time he like showers and everything, then maybe we can actually watch Iron Man 3 tonight. Wish me luck. No, I'm, I'm feeling good. I just ate. I had some kombucha. Text in with our pails, their hearts. Um, I think we'll be good. Oh, thought I'd go for a six mile run. Made the mistake by running at night rather than day today. 82 feels like 88. There's no escaping the pain of the heat. Like, can't catch my breath. Even if I stop and walk a couple yards. I can't catch my breath, I can't catch my heart rate, I can't lower it too much. Oh, it's a brutal one. But these are the ones that make it easier come fall. I also just had a eureka moment that I have to talk to Sarah about and my friends at ACS to see how we can coordinate it. But I thought about doing a Patreon that would everything would go towards the World Marathon Challenge. Um, we still might do that, but I just came up with like an idea about bring creating a team, a Brookhart team, through ACS, so that any other runners or any other people who are all about fundraising and everything can join in and help us. But then we'll have different tiers of like prizes, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, but like thank you gifts for helping us reach our goal. I think it could be really good. And like, you guys are the incredible ones. I just talked to the camera. You guys are the ones that tell us amazing stories and do amazing things. I just saw a cockroach on the ground. That's what I'm staring down. I'm making sure it doesn't crawl on me. Gross. All right. I'm actually sweating more that I stopped running. So I need to get running so I feel a little bit of a breeze. And I get home to hang out. Woo! It does feel good, though. It, does, it hurts good. It took almost a year of me running to come up with that realization that even if it's a hot or cold or just a not fun run, it feels good. I get that runner's high now. I just don't want to start running. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Yikes. You can't tell, but this shirt is totally. Show my too. Totally sweated through. Oh, it's like a nice. I have to take a shower. It's hot. Super hot? Yeah. Do you see what I'm watching? I do. How are you liking it? They're not nice to each other. They're not. No, I knew you'd hate that. Yeah, I don't like. It. They they come together. Do they? They assemble. <laughs> Here's my delicious dinner while Sarah finishes Avengers. Looking good. Alrighty, time for the message. Just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. I love that. Sleepy, sleepy. I'm very sleepy. The puppy's I sleepy. That run wore me out. I could sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.